everybody. I am Charlotte Dickens. Charles Dickens. Charlotte. There's no Charles. such thing as Charles Dickens. Yes, That's from me. I wrote The Christmas Carol, and I'm Charlotte Dickens, and no, I'm not his wife because there is no Charles Dickens. There is a Charles Dickens. No, there's no Charles Dickens. Yes, it's Charlotte Dickens. Charles. I can spell it C H A R L O T T E. Dickens. Charlotte Dickens. Charles. Listen, Dickens. I know I'm Charlotte Dickens because I wrote The Christmas Carol. I know that story like the back of my cane. If you know it, then tell it. Fine, I will. This is Ebenezer Scrooge, and all he cared about was his money. I would like to have some more coal for the fire. No. Too much money. Then, Scrooge was visited by Franny, his only living relative. Merry Christmas, Uncle Scrooge. Christmas. Bah humbug. Oh, you don't mean that, Uncle. Why don't you come to my house for Christmas dinner? What do you have to be so merry about? Christmas has never put a penny in your pocket. Merry Christmas to you all the same. After Franny left, two men of charity walked in. What can we put you down for? Nothing. Oh, you'd like to remain anonymous? I wish to remain al left alone. Scrooge is a cold-blooded old cook. He doesn't care about charity. He doesn't care about his niece. He doesn't care about anybody or anything except himself and money. So after the long day of work, he went home to rest in his cold-blooded selfishness. Sad, really. the incident with the doorknob. Scrooge was very afraid. He checked every room in his house by candlelight because he was cheap and didn't want to spend money to light the candles. After Scrooge checked all the rooms, he got in his dressing gown and had a late night snack. your part, Marley. Do you doubt me? Do. You could just be a blot of mustard or an undigested piece of beef. There's more of gravy than of grave about you. Why do you doubt your senses? You will be visited by three ghosts when the clock tolls one. When Marley left, Scrooge went to bed, but could hardly get to sleep. Ghost of Christmas past. Come with me.
We're going to check out your past. Here you are as a lonely school by caring only about your studies. But then you met a girl, she loved you, but you loved money more. And there's your past. Christmas present? I am! Hmm! That's a nice wreath. This is your employee's house, Barbara Cratchit. Tiny Tim, Christmas dinner is ready. Oh, coming! Oh boy! Christmas dinner! Oh boy! remain unaltered, the boy will die. Do you grow old? I do. My time on this earth grows short. <laughs> Are these the shadows of things that will be, or things that can be. <laughs> the ghost of Christmas yet to come took Scrooge to Barbara Crutch's house, but Tiny Tim was not there. Uh, I'm, as lucky as I'm, as, I'm as merry as a schoolboy. You there, boy. What day is it? Christmas Day. So I haven't missed it. The spirits did all in one night. They can do whatever they want to. Is the prize tur turkey still at the store? Yes, sir. Go and buy it then. Oh. Bring it back here and I'll give you five shillings. Bring it less than five minutes and I'll give you half a crown. Barbara Cratchit, you were not at work yesterday like we discussed. Well, I, uh... And therefore, I am about to raise your salary. Here's a Christmas turkey. Yes, it's Uncle Scrooge. Oh, Uncle Scrooge. I'm here at the dinner if you'll have me. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Tiny Tim, who did not die, Scrooge became a second father. So, isn't that a wonderful story? I told you I know it like the back of my cane. Wait. Where'd she go? Wait a second. Do you mean I just told the whole story and you didn't even listen? I'll get you, you little guinea pig! Well, I guess you heard it. 